third question from this one is going to be from Augustin Soto. He's asking, what are the best ways to use low passes? So uh, just my input on it, I think low passes are very good. Um, over the middle of the field, whenever I'm throwing either, it could be crossing routes. I think posts are usually very good. Uh, low passing them to get them in front of that like deep defender. So if you're throwing a post against something like a cover three, and you're worried about that middle safety biting down and jumping that route, you can low pass it and put it in a situation where only your receiver can get to it. Um, other good situations of low passing are you can low pass to the tight end in the seam. Uh, if you just have like, if, if you're in something like gun doubles and put your tight end on a streak, um, you can low pass it to him. Just make sure that there's no underneath hook zone. Uh, but if you're worried about like a safety making a play on him, a low pass is good there. Another great usage of low passes are on like corner routes and so a popular like red zone concept is to basically have an outside flat route and then a corner route breaking in behind it and so a popular setup out of this is something like single back ace z spot where people will put the running back on a wheel and motion them out uh, to make it basically a five wide under center formation and then so the wheel route clears out and pulls the zones to the sideline and then the corner route cuts and you throw a low pass right in that little pocket to where basically the safety can't bite on it, the outside flat zone defenders can't recover in time, and it, it puts it in a spot where only your receiver or tight end is able to make a play on the ball. So I think that's kind of three good starting points for using low passes and kind of incorporating them into your game. Marvelous. I really have not much more to say. Uh, that's exactly <laughs> what I would have said. Uh, I would just say any type of breaking route, uh, post on the cut type routes, because... The way that 91 zones work, they break on the throw. So when you throw a route that, pretty much any route, the zone will break right away and react right away. So yes, corner routes, you want to throw it low. Uh, just make sure it's clearing a cloud flat. Make sure post route, if you're going to throw it, make sure it's above the hook zones, below the deep blue zone. Uh, make sure the user is not in the area, just like Holden's saying. Just you don't want to throw a pick as you're throwing underneath it. Um, but, you know, I throw low passes for almost all my throws, but the best throw would definitely be post routes. Every single time I throw a post is pretty much always a low pass, and almost every time I throw a corner route is a low pass. And not only to the sideline, but also, like Holden said, up the seam with the flat route mixed in. That way the flat uh, route gets played by any flat defender, and on the break, as long as the hook zone is not directly there, you could throw a low pass, possession catch it, and that's the best way to utilize low passes. 